Hello and welcome to Canon Trading uh, video section and another video on educational information, this time about using Sierra charts or how we call them uh, AT charts, Canon Trading charts. It is my opinion that the Sierra charts are one of the best value for the dollar as far as the amazing information you're able to utilize. And I'm going to show you how to log into the charts and some chart basics. So the first step is once you sign up for a trading demo of either Shogun Trade Executor or Transact Demo, all you have to do is simply log in like I'm going to do right now, either live or demo. And I'm going to log in with my demo. And as long as you selected during the installation stage to install the chart package, those charts will pop up automatically once you log in. So again, I'm accessing my demo right now. And you will see that as soon as I access the demo, AT charts, Canon charts, uh, Sierra charts, this is all one and the same uh, are loading up. So a few things uh, that I consider chart basics, and I'm gonna go ahead and minimize the log, is there's a few different ways to open the charts, and there's a few ways to log in, meaning if you log in and you don't see the charts, you can always try to add the market on the Transact or Shogun platform. Uh, example over here, I'm looking at the ESM. You add it. And then you have an uh, error under the letter C, which is for charts, and if you click on it, it will open a chart of the mini S&P. Uh, once the chart is open, and let's take a look here at a crude oil chart, I'm gonna maximize it. Over here on the left-hand side, I have uh, my little quote board that I designed. And the main thing is how to open a chart. So one way is like I showed from the depth, from the Shogun screen. The other way is by going to File, New Open Intraday Chart, and selecting the market that you want to open. Okay. Since I already have the crude oil chart, I'll continue with it. If I wanted to change the time frame, very easy, very easy to change the time frame. And let's open another chart here. We got over here. Let's see which chart we have. We have the the mini Dow chart. If I wanted to change the time frame from 15 to 5, all I have to do is hit 5 on my keyboard and enter. That changes it to the 5 minute. If I wanted to do it in a different way, I can right click, chart settings, and right over here, you will see days, minutes, seconds, and I got it at 5. If I want to go to 30 minutes, enter. Boom. Okay. The other thing I want to show you is how to change a contract. If you're already in a chart that you like and you want to change a contract, same way. Right click, chart settings, and right over here you'll see it says the symbol. Instead of YMM8, I'm going to go ahead and put GCJ8, which is gold futures. Hit enter, and right away you see the chart for gold futures. This is a 30 minute gold chart over here. You can see that. And another topic that I consider very much chart basic is how to add studies. Right click in the chart, studies. And over here you'll see that I have a few different studies including customized studies, but let's say I wanted to hit the parabolics. I click on studies available, I hit the letter P on my keyboard, and it happens to be the parabolics of the first one. I click add. If I want to change the settings of the default, I highlight parabolics, click on settings. And over here, I can change colors. I can create alerts and more, but that's already a little bit more in depth. So I'll do okay and okay, and there you go. Those are the parabolics, those little green dashes. I like using the parabolics. Some of you may have requested a custom study or maybe the algo free trial. Once you're enabled, you got to go to study and add custom studies. And over here, you'll see example of the custom studies. Okay. Once I have a chart that I like, uh, I can always save the template as a certain template. So I'm going to right click, go into studies, and over here, I'm going to call this collection of studies. I'm going to give it my name, Elon, and I'm going to call it DT for day trading. 
and I'm going to say save all. Yes. Okay. What is that good for? Let's say I go to file, find open intraday chart, and I'm going to open the bond. Okay, here's the bond, just a regular old chart. All I have to do, I go to analysis, and over here you'll see something that's called Elon DT, which I just saved two seconds ago. By clicking on it, I just applied that template on the chart. Okay, and last but not least, for this specific tutorial, clients and prospects are asking me, how can I change the chart colors? Very easy. Chart, graphic settings chart, and over here you can see all kind of options. Make sure that you uncheck the use global graphics. This way, if I want to change the chart background to white, there it is, white. Good warning by Sierra that the chart text and color backgrounds are the same. So I'm going to go into the chart text, and instead of white, I'm going to change it to black. OK. Apply. So again, very basic tutorial on the Sierra charts, also known as Canon charts, AT charts. And those are available for our clients and prospects in a variety of ways with a variety of FCMs. Our strength here at Canon since 1988 is that we clear with multiple clearing houses and we can accommodate your specific needs with a specific clearing house and trading software. So until the next time, thank you from Canon Trading and have a great trading day. Bye-bye.